Hey guys, Zongo here with another video. This time trying out something new, or at least for the channel, called Fate of the World, which is basically a strategy puzzle game. Well, I call it a puzzle game, but it's a strategy game where you... Ch what the... Oh, and here's the thing, because I was on the menu for too long. Um where you try and combat uh, global warming and such. <clears throat> it's actually an incredibly difficult game with a lot that you have to uh, keep account and uh, keep something for. Shut up. Okay, anyway, so let's just get into the game. We'll start up a new game. And I've completed most of these. Not very well, but I've completed them. Now we're going to the hard one, which is it can't go above 3 degrees increase by within 200 years. The uh, basic one is... Oh wait, that's the... This is the tutorial. Ah, uh, shit. Where is it? Okay, well, never mind. Right. Okay, anyway. So, you have to go 200 years without it uh, rising above 3 degrees, which is pretty difficult. So, let's try and do it. And we'll decide our name. Songo, obviously. Uh, your warship, just because. An environmental collapse cannot be ignored. How should civilization respond? You guys cannot read. Da -da -da. This is also a very slow cinematic which you saw at the start of this video. I wonder if I should just skip it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll skip it. So, first thing we've... Well, the news is a pretty good start. You start off in the year 2025, when uh, GEO, the corporation, Worldwide Association or Corporation or something like that, is founded and there's a one degree warming and this just tells you how many people that's it. oh thousand million i forgot that this is a british game so they don't use billion for thousand million they say thousand million but anyway yeah so, first thing to do is recruit agents. I'm getting one in North America, Europe, Oceania, and Japan. And recruit. North America. Oh, right. Let's explain this interface before doing anything. So, here is the, uh, how much the people like you. This is their outlook on uh, consumerism versus altruism. And this basically impacts how much they are willing to give to your, how do you say, environmentalist policies. Stability is whether or not this country is stable, or region rather. Militancy, how likely they are to go to war and like start a civil war they are defensive some people would argue that's wrong but whatever <laughs> and satisfied this is their contentment i don't know why how it's different from this uh i've just got no clue oops wrong thing First thing we want to do is to enforce a Tobin tax, 
which gives us a hundred more bucks <clears throat> at the cost of regional support. Again, and uh, going with Tobin Tax, Tobin Tax, and Tobin Tax. That's 400 extra dollars from these regions. And no news. So, now I'm gonna recruit Latin America, Southern Africa, Northern Africa, Middle East, India, China, East Asia, Russia, and South Asia. And for, if you'd look up in this upper right corner, you'll see the world population, or the population of a region when we zoom in here. This is their pollution in megatons. This is their GDP. This is the time, or year rather, temperature difference from um, 1750, or industrial era, or age, or something like that. And this is kind of meh. You'll get more information out of this, unless you're I'll explain that later. And fund panel. This is how much funds you get from, you have to work with. Right now we've got 586, which is more than we'll probably have for the rest of the game. So, Latin America has a serious deforestation issue. And... And the Africas have a serious stability issues, so we're gonna need political offices, which increase security and, well, you can do other stuff, but I mostly use it for security. The rest of the stuff doesn't seem too important. I'm actually going to tax Russia as well. They are going to have stability issues and we'll need a lot of welfare. We could go with a energy uh, place, energy office, and increase their oil production, which will delay the inevitable, but I, I'm not seeing the value there. Not after a couple of playthroughs. India will go extremely volatile, though we want another political office. South Asia is actually pretty stable, though we're, but has a deforestation problem. So we'll protect land, soil, and forests. China has a severe pollution problem, mostly from coal. Hmm. Nothing important there, just a slight deficit of resources. So what I like to do is get technology up and running in China fast, so they can switch over to renewable resources quickly. And. I've still got $310 left, so opening a regional technology office in Oceania, and which is Australia for most of you guys, or at least Americans, and then Japan. I probably want one in uh, Europe as well, and we won't be able to do too much more, so I'm actually kind of wanting to put another so that I can another agent in North Africa so I can have a regional welfare office. So if you watch here, we've got five hearts right now. Next turn, that'll go down. Rather significantly. And 
this is what it is. Okay, explaining this. This is the emissions. Don't really need to look at this unless you're doing a special technology. What's important is the actual temperature. Which is based on this, but still. So, the red is what was already there before this term, and the orange is what happened during the term. And it increased by 0 0.1 temperature, er, uh, Celsius? Hmm. Yes, yeah, Celsius, they're free. Since 2000, er, since in the past five years. Okay, shut up. Okay, moving on. Global oil peak, oil production peaks, blah, blah, blah. Eyes at methane, don't really care. And we researched stuff in Europe. Great. Actually, not that much uh, impact. Something. Hmm. Okay, well, regardless, we'll have these guys. I forget if they are. I think these guys are supposed to research materials. Oceania is going to research biotech because they have the most terrifying of animals. Japan is researching biotic or er, robotics for the simple fact that they are. <laughs> okay, anyway, so China, you don't really need anything right now. Oh. Regional Welfare Office. And you are unstable. We need... Okay. So? Okay. Is there... Oh, right. And I'll be putting cuts in the video around 20 minutes in length. I'll try and uh, cut it out. The not in between sentences, because that would be really awkward. So... Uh... Hmm. So... Checking everything first. That's stable. So... Unstable is something that you really have to fight. Whenever possible. And so, I'm increased providing security assistance, which will increase stability. Very unstable is North Africa, so I'm increasing stability. And I'm gonna give them educational enrollment, because that's the best way to increase their human development index. At least to start. And Russia has went unstable, thus negating the Tobin tax. So, we need to provide security. And... Hmm. Odd that it didn't flip and still did that sound. Okay. So, what we want to do right now is provide well care pro the well care program to increase the um, human development index. Let's see. 22% of the population is sick. This is not good. Thus, the medical welfare program. Ah, uh, let's explain this, I guess. HDI. Yep. Or by... <laughs> Clicked on the overtime. This is the breakdown of the HDI. The GDP per capita and the life expectancy in years, as well as education. So, these two are bringing it down, but it's above 80%, which means I can tax them. So, let's see. Uh, let's look at their pollution. It's actually pretty manageable. So we don't need to do anything there. We absolutely need to 
who mess with the Middle East provide security assistance, you know, and help no civil wars break out. And he has, uh, the build he has dropped. Likely because every breath you take is killing you. But, hey, we can't have everything, can we? So I'm just gonna fund law enforcement. No, I... It's probably better to focus on something else for now. Let's check there. Okay, their force change is actually positive, so we don't need to mess with that. Emissions are pretty high. So we kind of wasted a agent there. And this is looking good. Our approval here is good. So we can keep taxing them. We'll want... Did we get this? No, we did not. And... Europe's the primary source of their emissions, which is pretty darn high, rivaling China. Kind of. Is mostly due from energy and transport. Let's reduce the amount that's from energy, or er, from transport. They're... Renewables is very slow until you get the proper technology, which I don't have anyone researching energy yet. Uh, that's awkward. The Oceania. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. You're unstable, so. That's gonna. Okay. Hmm. Not eco awareness campaign. Push their outlook towards eco. Uh, supporting me. And that will make our efforts later on easier. Which actually I think is a good idea in all these places. Mm. You know what? Let's fund Black Ops. I don't really do it, but it sounds like fun. Still got 300 to spend, so let's increase our... Uh, area here. Decrease unemployment. Hmm. are fine. Oh, right. Uh, we, we've still got a welfare office building. We can't do anything right now. Let's build an environmental protection office here. Okay. Everything's fine. Ah. Hmm. I actually... Hmm. I'm having a hard time commentating over this. I really am. <laughs> uh, but I think this is a pretty interesting game. So, let's build a... Okay, yeah. This only costs $25. I thought I miscounted my money for a second. So, I've only got $10 left, and there, there's nothing I can do with just $10. Global oil production, rising arctic methane, stuff I can't really do anything about. So, progress five years. And still on the rise because I've not really done anything yet. I've just been planting my roots down, or whatever the saying is. And we've got smart grids unlocked in the North Americas which increases the speed at which